Hey everybody, Scott Dowell here. Quick video today showing something I thought was really cool. So this new node just released today is called Free U, and it allows for UNet manipulation. And they're basically saying it's a free launch, meaning it's pretty much not going to cost you anything to implement. So the concept here is we're going to take the UNet, which is the core of how stable diffusion functions, and then these skip connections that cut across to basically add detail back in as we're on the decoding side. But what they're doing there is they're saying, let's reweight this so the backbones and the skip connections themselves, those features that come across more of the high detail stuff, uh, could be reweighted. So the contributions that those will make uh, can be changed. And basically, this is free. It costs us nothing. And yet uh, the result is substantial. So let's see how to hook it up. I'm going to start here with my basic uh, XDSL graph. Now, we talked about building this a few episodes ago, and it's pretty simple. In fact, we're even going to get rid of the refiner for this one. So it is basically our positive and our negative here. And then I put a note over here in the graph that I have uh, that's uh, down in the post area for all the people who are members of this channel, which, by the way, thank you so much for your support. As I say, we couldn't do it without you. Uh, this graph is available for you there. And I did put some notes here so you note what the clip G and clip L are uh, in the XDSL models in case you forget. So remember, the refiner only uses clip G. So I kind of put that in there for you. So this is a very standard graph. We have our, we're loading our checkpoint here, which is our XDSL base. Uh, we're loading the uh, resolution, which I'm using one of the comfy math uh, nodes here that basically allows you to pick a resolution that's safe for SDXL. And then we're using that to drive both the sizes of the, the targeting resolution of our, our conditioning here, as well as the empty latent. And then I'm obviously putting in here the size of the batch. I had done this because I was uh, doing something else, which we're going to cover in another episode. And then we're feeding that into a K sampler. And of course, out of this, we're going to bring in our VAE decode and our VAE. All right, so this is pretty standard, and we'll just preview this one here. What I'll do is I will put in a, a quick prompt here. I'm using a photo of a Western movie clip, uh, a showdown in the middle of a dusty town. And the clip L here will put a photo of a dirty Western town where two people are about to have a pistol door. All right, so we've got that done. And I didn't put anything in the negative because I don't. So what does this new thing do and where does it go? It's actually really easy to hook up. But I want to show you this because we're going to actually use a comparison here so you can see what it's doing. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click and type in the word free. And you'll see that free you pops up. This is a core component in Comfy. Um, however, you will need to update your Comfy. So make sure you're up to date. Otherwise, it's not going to show up and you're going to wonder why uh, that'd be the reason. So what I'm going to do is here is I'm going to use the model and just feed that into this. And we're going to take this same K sampler and we're going to feed this in. Now, what I want to do for comparison is I want to make sure that our seeds are the same one. Uh, so what I'm going to actually do is change the seed here, convert it to an input in both of these. And then just drag it out and we'll put a node here, add a node and we'll go under utilities. And we'll add a primitive. That primitive and will be whatever whatever we attach it to. In this case, it's an integer. And we're going to feed in a random, but we're going to feed this to both of them. So we get the same seed. That way, we're comparing apples and apples, basically. And then, obviously, we need our prompts. We're going to use the exact same positive and negative here that we did there, and we need the same latent. So no variables have really changed between these two things other than this thing being in the way. Uh, so that's really the goal here is to see what it is that it's doing. Obviously, we've got a bunch of noodles running around here, and it doesn't have to be neat because obviously I'm just demonstrating this, but I want to show you what it looks like. So we'll just do this. Okay, so let's take a look at what happened here. Now, we did not adjust the settings yet. We're just doing one just out of the box to show you what it's doing. So what it's allowing it to do is to carry forward uh, some of the detail that might be lost. Now, we're using the wrong settings here, but I, I kind of want to show you the two images are going to be different, right? The hope here is that we get more of the detail here uh, out of it and that's that's called the higher frequency parts of this uh, and then we obviously want to keep the lower frequency like the building shapes and so on and you see in this one for example it turned it into a mountain versus in this one it's a giant edifice there so let's go adjust this for the model now there are different settings for each of the different models from 1.5 to sdxl and those are on the website there and i'll put the link to the git over there so you can grab it we are goofing around here locally, and this is uh, obviously not scientific at all, uh, and I have a lot more to play with, but so far, I kind of like these settings. This is 1.1, uh, I think. So I've been playing with this, trying to figure out what settings work the best, and I, I really don't know yet. Uh, I want to create a big graph, and I'm going to actually have a whole video on graphing or creating XY plots so you can find what settings make you happy, uh, but that's another day. Uh, so that's going to be quite a video. All right, so let's go ahead and adjust that. Now let's do this again. All right, I don't like that one. I'm going to go back up here and adjust this from 1 to a 1.0 and do it again because I didn't like the way that one turned out. As I say, this is still kind of a little bit of experimentation. All right, let's take a look here. Okay. 
We have a lot more detail, especially in the ground and the outfits, which I really like. And the faces look a lot better as well. It still has a bit of an uh, illustrated feel to it. Uh, but I think we're on to something here. This, uh, again, this cost us nothing, but I think we have a better model. The hands are better, uh, for example. Uh, I just think overall, this is a really interesting new way to look at models. And I'll see how much we have to apply this uh, in our other settings. So far this morning, I played with this quite a bit. And I have to say that 99% of the time or 95% of the time, I prefer the model that comes out of this uh, than I do the one without it. Uh, so I think it's a good step forward. Again, I'll have to play with it a bit, but you go ahead and try it out. So I'll put the graph of this in the community area for everyone who's helping out the channel. Again, thank you so much for your support. Uh, so that will be available for you to just kind of grab it and download it and play with it. Again, it does come with Comfy by default. Uh, so there's nothing special you have to do, but I'd love to hear what you think about it. Uh, give it a try and let me know. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you all next time.